Hi friends and the vegan. <laughs> yeah, may I all be vegan. I guess that's the most important thing now. And um, that's why I make my recipes. So that everybody can have a nice and easy way uh, to make its own vegan food. Very simple ingredients. Ingredients you can get around the corner in most of the developed countries. I say so. Yeah. And now we can go ahead. Yeah. And today I make a smoothie. Um, I regularly almost. I make a smoothie for breakfast. That doesn't mean that it's my whole breakfast, but in a smoothie, I can put very nice ingredients to have a full amount of, uh, of nutrients. For example, the greens. Today I make a kale smoothie. Uh, the kale is a, well, it is the health, uh, not the health, but the, the most nutrient dense green at all. I've, I looked it up, <laughs> it's really true. No other green, leafy green, has as many. Um, minerals and vitamins and so on, like as a kale. So it's very interesting. Kale is very favorite and it is harvested in winter in Germany. Um, sometimes we find it in all over the year, but the main time for kale is in winter after the first frost. And then it turns a little bit sweet even. But usually the kale can also be a little bitter. So it's not always easy to make a delicious smoothie because deliciousness, the flavor is very important in cooking. Also for health, because um, it is um, health is a holistic concept. Concept, yeah. That means we have to feel well. Well-being is defined as health. Well-being, physical, social, and mental, has three parts, and so it's very complex. Man, it's very individual. For each person, a little bit different. So, um, um, but the flavor is important because it's about well-being and to feel the delight. Yeah? So it has to taste good, yeah? of course. And that's why with the kale we have sometimes a little problem. Yeah? If I make a smoothie, you know, I compose it, I plan a little bit ahead. What kind of ingredients do I need? I have my main ingredient, that is the kale, today. And I have a second main ingredient, that is the grapefruit. Also, grapefruit is in season. Seems to be all over the place now. I have delicious, beautiful um, kale and grapefruits here, not too expensive. So I want to use it maybe together with the kale. Yeah? Kale, kale um, and grapefruit also has a very strong flavor and is a very special fruit. Uh, it's a citrus fruit, of course, we know, but it is special because it has special properties that influence our health. In general, we say kale is very great. Uh, grapefruit is great for weight loss. Yeah, that is well known. Grape, uh, grapefruit diets or so. I don't like these kind of diets so much for myself, but uh, um, it's very, um, uh, it's, uh, very focused on one single thing that is not so good, I guess. But it has these properties. It, it lowers cholesterol, helps digestion. There's a little bit of flavor in there. It's very healthy, but you also can have a little problem if you eat grapefruit with medication. It's another story. It's not my thought subject, but if you have any medication, regular base, then the, kale, the grapefruit might intervene. Uh, I read that up. I read it, but yeah. But in the, this is a very strong, has a very strong flavor. This bitter flavor and the very strong um, flavor also corresponds to its strong effect on the body of the health. Yeah, it lowers cholesterol. It helps digestion, and this reflects in the very strong flavor. So flavor and benefits, I guess, they have a relationship. And I like to, to combine both. I like to, um, to taste. I like when I feel well. Um, I, I like to have the food that corresponds to that. So I, when I, sometimes I want to eat a kale because I need it. Yeah? So this relationship I'm interested in. Yeah? Uh, that's for everybody different. Yeah? For everybody else, it has a different feeling, different needs, of course. Uh, first of all, now, um, these are my main ingredients, the kale and the grapefruit. And so um, it's not so easy, I guess, to bring these together because you just blending kale and grapefruit will not turn out delicious. I tried that before and it goes wrong. <laughs> it doesn't taste. They have very strong kale is there and the very strong kale grapefruit and they don't really have um, related together. Uh, something is missing. And uh, for a smoothie base, I have, uh, so that's the next pass, part of the planning of the construction of this uh, recipe. 
I need a base for a smoothie to make these ingredients uh, uh, taste well together. And the base also has to correspond to these ingredients. Yeah, Citrus food, I said already, and there comes to my mind the tangerine. Tangerine is a, a something like a little bit a opposite from the grapefruit, if I may say so, from flavor. It's a very gentle flavor, still characteristic, but very gentle. A very gentle flavor. I have three tangerines here. They are also very nice right now. They have a lot of grape, uh, tangerine, delicious uh, tangerines in the health food shop. So that helps. And I came to the mint tangerine here because of the persimmon. Because the persimmon can be a wonderful smoothie base, I found out. Usually we take um, bananas for a smoothie base. Yeah, it's a classical base, bananas with nuts, for example. Um, to make it creamy and firm a little bit. But the persimmon can replace the banana. Of course, it has a different texture than banana. I don't put nuts into the persimmon because the persimmon, if you blend it, you'll see how ripe it is, very ripe. Here you see this shiny orange color, it's very ripe. And if it's almost runny and you blend it, it still firms up. So I don't need nuts in there because the nut would make it firm up even more that I don't want. That's the pudding <laughs> or, or a cream or something. But for a smoothie base, I rather need the tangerines here together with the, pe uh, with the, with the persimmon because the tangerine is very light and you blend it, it gets very runny. So it balances from the texture very nicely the persimmon and the flavor too. It brings out uh, the nice flavor from the, uh, from the persimmon, which is very gentle. That flavor from the persimmon is very gentle, but it's also complex. And the complexity, the different shades of the persimmon flavor, only get, you get to know them only in combination with other fruits. So persimmon is perfect to combine with, and it is very healthy, it's keeping, yeah, and it's nourishing. So it's a, a very interesting fruit. And it's got all over the planet, yeah. And to put some um, ginger in there, uh, finally, that I did because I know that uh, the combination of tangerine, persimmon and ginger seems to be a perfect flavor combination. I tried that before, I was totally amazed. You have to try that. Yeah, really, I tell you, a persimmon, tangerine and ginger. This combination is such an amazing taste by itself. And today I want to try it as a smoothie base because it's so delicious. Maybe it works together with uh, also with uh, grapefruit because that's huge health benefits and the kale for the huge nutritional benefits. Let's see now. I talked a lot. Let me explain a little bit how I make my smoothies because, you know, it's not so easy to make a smoothie recipe. It can be easy if you know some tricks and some qualities of the ingredients, but it can go so wrong. I tried it so many times, put something together I like and taste it. Ooh, doesn't, <laughs> it's not nice. So this trick, yeah, how to make it delicious. This is important and this is the focus on my on my cooking. Yeah? Of course, plant-based, that is always the base, there's no doubt, it's the most important, as I said before, but then comes the flavor also and, and the nutrition balance. So I put the, uh, the grapefruit in first, on top goes the kale, yeah? uh, same amount about, and now um, the tangerines, the persimmon, and a little bit of ginger. So let's see what happens if I do that. I guess as the grapefruit is on the bottom, it's very juicy. I might not need some water. I can add some water later in case it's needed. I have to see the texture of this. I didn't do that before. But uh, as the grapefruit is very juicy, the blender might have no problem to begin with the grapefruit and then pull all the rest down. Let's see, blender dance. <laughs> or so uh, for a time before I noticed 
how much fun is blending. Yeah? And I read about it and I knew, I found out there is um, the nutrients, in, especially in greens like kale, leafy greens, they are so much better is absorbed by the body when you blend them because you have to break up the cells completely to get to this wonderful nutrients. And the blender does that perfectly. And especially power blender gets it so easily. With a regular blender, this smoothie would be very hard to make because the kale doesn't really get blended in a regular blender for 100 bucks. This costs a little bit more. It's a power blender. But if you go a little bit more into the blending, if you like, if you get to like it, and you used it, um, then you, maybe you could um, you couldn't go wrong with this one. I use it regularly, um, and it's really I never uh, regretted to have one. Now let's taste it and see if this combination works or uh, or not. <laughs> let's see. Mm. Wow, wow. I was concerned about the grapefruit because I can't really have a strong flavor. It can get everything down down the road, but um, now oh, it's nice. There's this this balance. There is the grapefruit is there. I have a whole grapefruit in there, so very strong. I think I put a little bit more water in there just because of the texture. Um, I have no water so far. The flavor is amazing. It's a strong flavor, yeah. But very nice. It works perfectly. Yeah. But let's see a little bit more. Just let's see. Yeah, the, the color is a little bit lighter now, but you don't need the water, that's for sure. The, the smoothie works perfectly without water, but just randomly, you know. Yeah, it's okay. I leave it at that. Taste it again. Mmm. It's really so good. Not too much ginger, just a little bit. You can easily overdo with ginger because it's very strong, but it perfectly adds to grapefruit both and kale. And as I said, in the combination of tangerine and persimmon, it has the perfect out outcome. We, uh, it's wonderful. I show you now what the smoothie looks like here. Have a look. It's creamy, you see, the texture is very nice for a smoothie. And it will not firm up, I'm pretty sure. I know the ingredients already. It will not firm up, as opposed to orange. Orange firms up a little bit later, because of the pectin, but this one will not. So it's pretty nice, pretty nice texture. And the flavor is great, that's what I wanted. And of course, the nutritional values here are outstanding. Kale, grapefruit, persimmon, tangerine, ginger so easy but well it took me some time to figure it out i was a little bit looking but in the end ah persimmon yeah that was it instead of banana you know that was the thing but usually you make a banana smoothie it's very easy but banana is everywhere very inexpensive and a perfect smoothie base maybe put some nuts into it or some chia seeds or flax seeds or so to make it a little bit more keeping and firm but the persimmon is a great alternative yeah and if you don't like bananas, persimmon is the, the choice. Yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, I like it. Give me a like maybe if you like. And maybe subscribe. And if you're on YouTube, have another recipe every single day. And find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter.